Hey guys, welcome back to Cooking with Pita. Today I'm sharing with you guys another delicious recipe. I'm trying a bunch of different cultural recipes and this one was really good. I know you guys are gonna love it, so definitely try it and let me know down in the comment section what you guys think. It is quick and easy to make. Well, it's kind of quick. It does take an hour and then you have to put it into the oven again for another 20 minutes but it was still quick to me compared to other recipes that may take two to three hours <laughs> are enjoying all these cooking with pita dinner ideas i definitely have been enjoying trying different recipes like i said in my other videos i am tired of eating the same thing over and over and that's one of the reasons why i love pinterest so much because it helps widen your palate because there are so many different recipes i'm working on a bunch of new recipes that I found on Pinterest so definitely look out for that one thing I will say though when I try these recipes and I plate them they never look like the picture I can cook I love to cook but it, when it comes to presentation I can definitely say I'm not the best of it but I would love to know what you guys think are you guys good at cooking but bad at pre presentation are you good at presentation but bad at cooking or are you good at both or are you bad at both i would love to know so in this recipe a lot of the seasoning i used was by the instruction as well as i did add a few I'll say this before and I'll say it again. I always like to add my own touch whenever I am creating a dish because I feel like it's more me than when I follow a recipe. One thing is for sure, whenever I'm cooking, I always try to find recipes where all the ingredients I can use in different recipes because you don't want to buy one thing for one recipe and then you're never going to use it again because then that's just a complete waste. So I always make sure I try to find recipes where if I need example onion powder I'm going to need it for every single recipe. So that is something I always make sure I have on hand and then things like I think you say turmeric or something like that. I don't know how you pronounce it. Forgive me. <laughs> but like that. I use it one time and I haven't used it again. But I know it's good for health when you're trying to work out or eat healthier. So I can always find different ways to use it. But yeah, you definitely want to get items where you know you use it more than once. Let's talk about this honey, guys. I totally forgot I was making this recipe and I really thought when I did my grocery shopping, I bought honey, but I did not. So that was the last of the honey. So I was barely able to add much in there, but I used what I could. And then I'm adding this bell pepper mix. When I tell you I love this, I get it from Walmart. I no longer have to buy bell peppers and onions and cut it up because it's already done for me and I love it. And it only costs like $2, I believe. So that is definitely a steal and I enjoy using it. So I always like to add it to my recipe, even when the recipe doesn't call for it. <music> If 
haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would love for you guys to do so. I have two channels, the Clean and Mommy and the Henry Family Vlog channel. I'll be sharing all my cooking recipes on both channels. So make sure you guys are subscribed as well as hit the notification bell so that you do not miss out on any of my videos. <music> So guys, I hope you guys are enjoying this video. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. I hope you try it and let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of you. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.